Alright, so dolls can probably be one of the creepiest and most disturbing things in the entire world. Heck, there even is an entire island inhabited by them, but there's probably a few spirits taking in the bodies. I'm not going to talk about that in this episode though. So if you haven't pieced it together yet, today we will be talking about the top 5 most haunted dolls in all of history. Now one thing I want to say before we begin, I will not be talking about the doll Annabelle since I have already done an entire video on it and the movie that it inspired. If interested in that, the link will be in the description or popping up somewhere right now. This list has no specific order as well and is created based off of my own thoughts. If you think there are any dolls that are missing, please leave that down in the comments below. Sit back and enjoy and hopefully there's not a doll in the room with you right now. Mandy is a porcelain doll made in England or Germany between 1910 and 1920 and was donated to the Queensland Museum in British Columbia in 1991. Mandy's donor had said that she would hear crying in the middle of the night coming from the basement, and it wasn't until after she gave Mandy away that the crying would cease. Though the crying stopped for the donor, strange occurrences continued as Mandy took up her new residency in the museum. Employees said lunches would seemingly go missing only to turn up somewhere else in the building, Footsteps have also been heard where no one has been around, and office supplies and pencils and books have also appeared out of nowhere in different spots where they were not last seen. It took the museum some time to decide where they should place Mandy. They said they wouldn't want her encased with other dolls because she had the tendency to harm them. Visitors to the museum also say her eyes would blink or follow you around as you walked. She also likes to mess with camera equipment whenever anyone tries to take or film her. Imagine being born into a family whose legacy it is to pass down a haunted doll to the next generation. That's basically the life that was created for a woman named Anna, the current, quote, mother of the little baby doll named Juliet. For four generations, the women in Anna's family would be cursed to keep up the tradition of keeping this haunted doll. Each daughter gives birth to two children, a boy and a girl. In each case, the son mysteriously dies on the third day of life. Anna was told that Juliet was given to her then great-grandmother by a vengeful friend. Soon after, her grandmother gave birth to a boy only to have him die on the third day. People would report about hearing giggles and inhumane screams that could be heard in the night, coming directly from the doll. The family claims that cries of different infants can be heard, making the doll appear to be a vessel for all the baby boys who have lost their lives through the generations. Hoodoo and voodoo can be extremely dark if meant for the wrong intentions. This voodoo zombie doll originated in New Orleans and was sold through eBay to a woman in Galveston, Texas. The eBay listing gave rules to abide by while owning the doll. This included not removing it from the silver casing, a rule that this woman seemingly broke upon receiving the doll. Not the smartest of things, especially when you know you're buying a voodoo object. So. I'm not really going to feel sorry for her. She would come to regret this decision, of course, and the woman then claimed that the doll haunted her dreams and would attack her repeatedly. She relisted it on eBay several times and was successful in selling it, only to have the buyer receive an empty box while the doll kept reappearing on her doorstep. No one is sure if the doll is haunted or not, but most recently the doll has entered the possession of a self-proclaimed ghost hunter who hopes to figure out the mysteries of this object. Harold is said to be the first haunted doll sold on eBay, and his original auction started international interest from paranormal researchers. Stories about the doll's various owners have been said to suffer sudden illnesses and injuries shortly after noticing the doll smiling at them. Howard has also been featured in an episode of Ghost Adventures. As entertaining as that show can be, I'm not going to take that as indefinite proof of something happening. However, Howard's phenomenon does seem to have some truth to it, as stories and legends of him seem to date back pretty far on the internet, at least until when he was first sold. Nonetheless, if haunted or not, Howard has dozens of websites dedicated to him and countless people who believe in the legend. Robert is 111 years old and lives at the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. Before that, he was the property of Robert Eugene Otto, an eccentric artist and member of the prominent Key West family. Here are just a few of the things that people all agree are true about Robert. Number one, that he is haunted, clearly. 
and then he is able to cause car accidents, broken bones, job loss, divorce, and a countless list of other misfortunes. According to the legend, young Otto began to blame misfits on the doll. While this could have been laughed off as childish storytelling, adults would start to notice odd occurrences, especially when Otto and Robert were growing up. As an adult, Otto lived in a stately house called the Artist House, where Robert could be seen positioned in the upstairs window. School children swore that they would see Robert appear and disappear, and they would avoid the house altogether. Myrtle Rudder purchased the artist's house after Otto's death in 1974, and also began to become Robert's caretaker. Visitors swore that they could hear footsteps in the attic and giggling. Some claim Robert's expressions changed when anyone badmouthed Otto in his presence. Rudder says that Robert would move around the house on his own, and after 20 years of this, she finally donated him to the museum in 1994. But this was not the end of Robert. Upon his arrival to the museum marked a turning point in the doll's history. Since Robert arrived, visitors would flock to the museum just to get a glimpse of this mischievous toy. Many visitors attributed post-visit misfortunes to failing to respect Robert or just simply openly disrespecting him to begin with and they would actually write back begging for his forgiveness. Others would ask him for advice or to hex others who had wronged them in life. Robert has his own social media accounts, and people have been sending him dozens if not hundreds of fan letters every single day. The museum actually, I believe, has to write back to them. I don't know, but clearly Robert is a bit of a phenomenon in the paranormal field and the haunted doll field, which I don't know why anyone wants to attribute themselves with anything to do with haunted dolls. Again, they're just the creepiest little things in the entire world. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little list. Fingers crossed that you are not spooked out while walking past a doll or a teddy bear tonight. Regardless, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you have any ideas or suggestions for a top 5 list, make sure you let me know and the idea may end up being featured in the next installment. Thank you for staying with us to the end. If you enjoyed this journey, hit the like button down below and leave a comment in the comment section. I always consider suggestions for new videos and topics, so do not be shy. Also, do not forget to subscribe in order to stay up to date on all things unexplained. Until then, I hope to see you again next time as we take another trip into the realm of the unknown.